this is not the best camera angle my my camera is like you know tilted like this while it should be like this the camera should be falling in the front and not like this so this is not the most flattering angle because you can see my double chin but i can't help it i don't have a proper tripod for the phone i'm filming using my phone hi guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video and i'm back to square one i started this channel by the way let me just quickly tell you that today's video is going to be this video in particular is going to be a chit chat video january has gone by so quickly we are already into the february of 2021 which sounds so amazing it sounds amazing i'm not wishing my life away but uh it's just that how quickly time flies i mean it's it's amazing good time bad time it's eventually going to pass so why not just be happy in this time so anyway what i was saying was that today's video is going to be a chit chat sort of a video and because the battery of my camera this camera died i was filming a video and the battery kind of died on me so i thought i'm not going to stop here and let me not get defeated by this camera let me just quickly you know kind of uh, film on my phone so i have just switched on my front camera so if my face looks slightly different the mirror angle then it is why it is i started this channel with the front camera of my moto g4 plus um, and i made over 200 videos using that phone so if you're an og here somebody who's been with me my friend here on this channel since last three four years now um i really love you a lot so i got this camera i think two years later and let me just quickly tell you that if i'm not looking at you i'm actually looking on the screen because i have kind of lost habit of actually looking um you know on the lens i kind of just see myself here on the screen and then it looks a little funny uh, i have to look in the camera and so i started this channel using a phone and uh, i'm so thankful to you guys that you guys stuck with me you've been with me through every thick and thin you've been with me in all my highs and lows and um, i'm just so thankful to you guys i was so depressed uh, uh, the entire of 2020 from march onwards because my father passed away and after that it was a very very terrible and a very very tough time for me it took me a lot of time to actually even and it you know i don't think that day will ever come when i can say that i'm fully okay it is not a situation when you can say you're fully okay but you have to cope and you have to come out of it recently i got a message on my instagram where one of my uh, friends and she's also a viewer here uh, she said that i can relate with you because recently her father passed away and she said how do you cope coping is not easy but you have to do it um they have been a part of your life and that is incredible we are here because of our parents and uh, if a parent is suddenly not in our life it is a huge loss it is irreparable and nothing in this world can ever 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 take that place but i believe my father wherever he is will not be happy if i'm always sad and depressed even if you're not undergoing a loss such as mine and uh, god forbid none of you n not even the worst of my enemy should undergo such a situation where you lose a parent and you know it's it's the biggest heartbreak but if you're undergoing any kind of a failure rejection sadness do not uh, be bogged down just be sad it is okay to be sad it is okay to feel not okay it is okay to feel low it is okay to not feel productive it is completely fine trust me it is completely fine give yourself the time to heal do not be guilty about it because you will only be destructing yourself and it is going to be detrimental for you in the future if you constantly try to you know fake and show that you're coping when in fact you you're completely broken inside it is absolutely fine let's accept um this loss i think acceptance is the first step towards anything and um, no matter how hard it is we all will have to accept a loss a failure rejection or any kind of a sadness anything that we are undergoing that is unpleasant that happened with me and uh, i couldn't cope with it i was not regular here on my channel i was not regular on my uh, in my studies i couldn't study 
I took my examination. If you guys do not know this, that I'm preparing for civil services for PSE. I don't know if ever I'll get through, but I'm going to take all my attempts. I'm going to exhaust them. And I'm stubborn in that. But yes, if you are um, an aspirant and if you feel like that, make sure that you have an alternate career. It always helps. Um, I have a degree in hotel management. I can take up a job anytime I want to. I also do uh, YouTube almost full time right now. So my bread and butter actually depends on YouTube. So I have a work. If you are an aspirant and uh, uh, if you are probably uh, somebody who's not taking any kind of financial uh, assistance from anyone, uh, be it your parents or your uh, family or anybody, uh, just make sure that you have a job. I mean, don't leave your job on account of any other job. Um, but it also depends on people to people I believe I don't know if the voice is um, properly synchronized I don't know let's see what happens anyway that happened and um, I kept coping the entire year I used to get pangs of sadness I used to undergo uh, so many emotions and living alone by yourself and then undergoing such a loss in such a crisis it was a lockdown a pandemic I was not able I was not even able to see my father that was the biggest Thing because there was no closure um, the saddest part of all but my father a very strong-willed man and I'm pretty sure I definitely have inherited something from him so I'm going to be strong-willed and I'm not going to die in despair I'm going to fight and I'm going to do whatever it takes to make my life a good life I believe uh, that's what I have plans for 2021 the start was not the best I'm not gonna lie uh, but uh, if I say that I'm coping then I'm not lying I'm definitely trying to cope actually so i am not been filming a lot but I'm actually planning a lot this was the first time in many many years when I actually made resolution for myself I've started journaling I write a lot um, writing is very healing it's very soothing um, and if you are undergoing any kind of a situation like this to my friend who asked me how to cope coping is acceptance first step second just go through it don't try to rush through it if you rush through it it's going to come back to you again and that is the worst part because then the healing delays that is what i have felt so do not rush for some people it takes probably a few weeks for some people it takes few months for some people it takes a few years and for some people it takes forever give yourself that time but that does not mean that you have to be in despair and be in sadness forever of course with each passing day you're going to find yourself much more stronger you're going to find yourself at a better place and uh, whoever has left us in in my situation um, if you've lost a parent god forbid they're always there looking after you so you always have their blessings so with all that you know strength keep on moving forward that is my mantra that's exactly what I've been doing so November I during November I was able to go to the place I'm from Uttar Pradesh and there's a small little uh, there's a small little place called Siddharth Nagar that is the place I belong to and uh, that is where my father was at that time and uh, it was a heartbreak to visit that place and uh, I cannot tell you the emotions I underwent there um, I don't want to talk about it right now but the only thing that I could get from there I mean I'm born from my father and I have all his genes and I'm, very, I'm so proud of it but the only thing that I could get from there is his chashma and, and his wristwatch. The watch was still enough, was still functioning. It's been lying there for like how many months? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Eight months the watch was still there. There was nobody living in the house post that incident. And his clothes and everything were there on the bed. It was heartbreaking. I'm not here to cry. I'm just here to share with you guys everything that I felt at that time. It was the most... <laughs> it was the most painful situation when I was there. 
I was just trying to picture in my head as to what could have happened. What all would he have undergone? It's just, I cannot fathom the pain. I cannot fathom that sadness. Especially, I don't want to kind of keep repeating myself, but just a day before all this happened, my mother told me, just talk to your father. And I said, um, I just sensed that he, he was somewhere in the room and it was very cold and I didn't want him to actually get up and come and take the phone from my mom because my mother has a slight bit of a problem of arthritis so she couldn't have walked to my father to give the phone so my father had to come so I thought it's already late in the night and I just told her that no problem I'll talk tomorrow that tomorrow never came though I'm going to regret forever so yeah uh, with all those things apart let's not just dwell on the sadness we are not immortals obviously we are mortals um, and we have to learn to cope we are strong we are humans we have to be strong so if you're undergoing any kind of a loss just give yourself that time give yourself that healing time and everything will be just fine again everything will have to get fine everything gets fine everything has to get fine otherwise if it is not fine then this is not the end that's what i believe so i've not been doing much I've been only eating junk and putting on weight. But I think I will also start taking walks. So that is my number one agenda. I, I actually made a video on my resolutions, but I was too embarrassed to kind of post it. But I thought I should have. But I deleted the footage. So um, I'm just kind of uh, mentioning a few points here. So I'm planning to kind of inculcate a little bit more walking. Walking was not an option last year. But I hope gradually you know with all the precautions um, i can actually go for walks some walks walk taking a walk is also very therapeutic sometimes not sometimes but i think most of the times and um, trying to normalize my life that way so that's been happening january as i said did not start at a very happy note it was just an extension of 2020 so it was not the best obviously uh, but yeah, I'm trying to do more of these kind of chit chat videos. If you have any topics or suggestions, let me know on what topic you want me to talk on because I can literally go on forever. It's like 15 minutes and I feel like I've not spoken anything um, uh, substantial uh, here. So uh, yeah, it's very, very late actually. It's like five o'clock in the morning. I've been shooting videos. I, I shot one video, then my camera battery died. I just have one battery. I think I should get more batteries. Uh, my camera battery died and if you don't know this then the battery of canon camera it takes hell lot of a long time to actually charge like two hours to come nahi lagta. so i thought what do i do because if i don't do anything i'm going to sleep and if i sleep then my work will be incomplete so i thought i'll film something and i'm going to do a chit chat with and i'm going to do a chit chat video with you guys so just tell me in the comment section below as to how you guys are what is happening in your life and how is your life uh, going um how are your family members? Um, how you guys are coping? If you ha if you are in any kind of a depression or anything, how did you cope? And and all of that. I'm going to answer a few questions that I think a lot of people ask me repeatedly. Um, the first question and a very frequently asked question on my channel is, uh, I think because of my name, a lot of people actually can assume that I'm from Pakistan. I am Indian. I am 100% Indian and to be precise, I live in New Delhi. So yeah, I think that will clarify a few questions from a few of you. Um, second question, do you have a boyfriend, etc.? So in that sphere of my life, I'm a zero. Uh, I'm not going to say that I've not had relationships, but nothing worth mentioning here. You know, uh, I will not say I'm, I've been unlucky. It's just, you know, those situations where you find a Mr. Perfect, he seems Mr. Perfect in the beginning, and then it turns out to be extremely uh, unpleasant and Mr. Perfect turns into Mr. Imperfect. So there is absolutely nobody I can bring here and introduce to you guys. If there's a man next to me any day on my channel, you know that he for sure is in my life and of course i you guys are my family i will have to introduce uh, to you to the new member whosoever is in my family but with all that but with all that being said let me also just quickly tell you that regardless of uh, the fact that if i have a man in my life or not i am still going to be a mother i am not sure a biological mother but i would surely adopt a child so I have always wanted to be a mother and um, I love children. 
so you will definitely have a new um, you know small little member on this channel I can't specifically tell you when but for sure in the coming future like three four years maybe for sure so I think motherhood does not necessarily need you know a marriage and stuff so that will definitely happen and I've always dreamt of sort of adopting um, and uh, maybe I'll have my own biological child I'm not sure so that will definitely happen and uh, uh, so yes those are my concrete plans and I'm also trying to change my background now talking about my background I get so many questions where so many of you tell me change your background guys I don't have a space in this house so this is my studio come my living room come where I study come where people come and sit this is my living room then I have a bedroom which is always cluttered and messy and then I have a kitchen so that is my entire world I do not have a lot of space so this is the only place that I can sit and shoot now um, I don't have a you know um, studio I don't often go outside where I can shoot and the situation right now is not that um, you know conducive so uh, you know I have the sofa over here this is very heavy if I want to change my background I can definitely put up something at the background but you know removing the sofa and then moving it back again is such a hassle considering the fact that I live alone here it's probably not easy for me but <coughs> sorry but I'm trying to come up to a solution and uh, hopefully in the future um, you might see some different locations maybe because I'm planning to actually shoot at different places not just in this room so so that is one request that I get all the time in fact some of you even scold me ki bas karo change your location change your uh, you know background <clears throat> so that I'm working on I promise I'm working on it's taking a bit of time mainly because you know the situations are not really um, um, you know very friendly right now so that's why the delay the other question that I get often is on Saroji Nagar market so I'm also planning to visit Saroji Nagar market very soon last year I was planning to go to Saroji Nagar in the beginning of the year but then uh, March May my father passed away after that lockdown happened so uh, we all know the rest is history and currently even now the situation is not the best uh, with all the farmer protest and stuff i don't think it's pretty safe and i think even during 26th of january and around that time um uh, sarojini is kind of closed so i'm kind of taking a little bit of a sweet time there so if you see this on the screen this is actually my tripod coming in the way <clears throat> <clears throat> so so I got a few more suggestions where a lot of you even asked me ki please talk in Hindi and change your channel to a Hindi channel uh, because then that's going to give you more views and uh, you will have uh, more uh, subscribers and all of that um, guys I'm very fluent in Hindi in fact English and Hindi both are my first languages Hindi bhi bahut se bol sakti hu, and I can also kind of talk in English also but I started this channel in English so initially um, my viewers who subscribed to this channel uh, watched me in English now if I switch back to Hindi it is not going to be fair on them because a lot of my subscribers are also from down south like um, south of India and east of India and I did ask them and I think once I did post a video in Hindi and uh, a lot of you said that Sana but we don't understand Hindi and then I realized that uh, you know a lot of my viewers who come from um, south of India or eastern part of India or if they are in another part of the world then now uh, it's not going to be fair on them so I'm not really in the greed of increasing my subscriber base uh, the maximum that I can do is probably start a Hindi channel so maybe in future I can start with a Hindi channel if you guys uh, still want me to do that let me know in the comment section below what else have I been doing I'm waiting for the third season of you badly and I think it's going to be out in February so I'm badly 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 waiting for it I have seen both the seasons and I really liked season one season two was okay and I really liked the ending of season two because that gave a hint of season three and I'm since then I'm waiting for season uh, three I watched Thandav uh, to be honest, I didn't like it very much um, and it is not with regards to whatever is happening uh, concerning Tandav. I just did not like the plot so much. I think it's 
there's nothing very unique about it we've seen those kind of things very often in hindi cinema um i'm not watching a lot of things because uh, i don't get that much of a time to actually watch so i just put on something random uh, maybe podcast or something that i can just listen because you know watching something requires your hearing um capability and you have to be physically present there to watch it and you have to be very active in watching and understanding everything so i do not start with anything serious but if you have any suggestions or something on maybe amazon prime or uh, netflix let me know i would definitely love to watch i really liked watching kelly stamps she's a youtuber from america um past 3 4 videos i would say i did not really appreciate that much but i loved how she started i mean her videos are so much fun she is such a straight face comedian and she brings in a lot of valid points i really liked her traveling videos traveling as in moving to new york videos and stuff and um, uh, the kind of issues that she brings forward i really like her sometimes i kind of relate to her um in the fact that i'm also living alone and i don't have a boyfriend and i also have to struggle with the life uh in so many ways and also that my father passed away her father passed away so uh yeah i'm not as huge as her but i really like her kind of uh, you know sarcastic comic uh, side to her kelly stamps and uh, she really grew very fast here on youtube um my growth on this channel has been so slow i mean the growth is often uh, kind of related with the number of subscribers and i'm not really increasing that much maybe because i'm not posting that often and if you feel that i'm talking a little in a little slurpy way it's because i'm also a little sleepy and that's very very cold in this room so yeah maybe that's why i don't have a blanket around and i don't want to get up so maybe that's why so my growth here on this channel has not been really that great but uh, i have never been in such a hurry you know to grow on this channel i've always been one of those people who are content and happy and feel blessed with whatever they have and i truly am you know with every single subscriber i feel blessed even if i gain one subscriber a day i feel blessed because uh, i'm so thankful to you guys that you guys watch my channel it means the world to me honestly i can't even tell you guys how much it means uh that you guys still watch me um when in the past i used to post videos every single day and uh, now um i kind of delay a lot now uh, recently i went to big chill cafe it's in khan market in new delhi if you've not been there you should definitely check that out because i have a box there i remember that and uh, i got some i think mocha something mocha praline something it was yummy it was really yummy it was delicious um so i've been eating that a lot i just had a pizza and uh, it is 5 o'clock in the morning so that is how erratic my eating habits are also the fact that i've been really breaking out a lot here on my chin i think that's all hormonal so that is also one you know addition to the family also how huh, i forgot to tell you i love watching mark ferris guys zoella she's an amazing youtuber but more than that i don't know why i feel i find a comfort and a, a very soothing thing in her friend mark ferris mark is also an amazing youtuber and <clears throat> i like the way he struggles with his mental health I, i like the way he copes with all his struggles and i can sense you know i can find um i don't find a fake youtuber in him I find something very very real in him something very honest and he really comes across as a really nice human so I like watching him and so much fun and so much light and um it just kind of takes my stress away so he's always in the background um that is something I love to watch I've got a lot of books like a bunch of books there so I'm planning to do a book haul slash stationery haul because I have so many things to show you and I'm very very excited about that I've I just want to read a bit more my reading has kind of stalled since a really long time and uh, i thought uh, i have a very small house so i can't get books that was excuse number 1 number 2 was i have a kindle so i'm going to download books on kindle that's what i did i purchased the kindle edition of the books and then i didn't study i uh, study ni i didn't read them um because i thought oh it's so handy i can read it whenever i don't find kindle very um comfortable for me it works for a lot of people but it does not work for me i i just want to earn the feeling of being able to flip your page you know 
that satisfaction when you see that oh you're half done with the book that is amazing that you don't get to see on kindle so i am very much always inclined towards getting physical books so i got some repeated books like i have the philosopher's stone by harry potter no no i have harry potter's harry potter and the philosopher's stone which later on went on to become the sorcerer's stone um uh, that is the first book by jk rowling i love that book there's so much of nostalgia attached to the book then of course the second book that is a repeat is uh, i also have the kindle edition of that uh, it's michelle obama's becoming it's an amazing incredible book they also have um it on netflix right now but having a book is something different so i have that big copy like if i'm going to have my child i would love my child to read the book so that's why i'm going to have lots of books in my house in fact i think i have a lot of books right now already so <clears throat> that's that's a new purchase that is there and there are a couple of more uh, you know purchases that were suggested to me by amazon actually so there's no harm there were so many reviews so i thought okay let me give it a try and uh, february already start ho gaye to delhi mein thand thodi kam ho gayi of course uh, but still kind of it's very chilly as you can feel i'm like slightly shivering but anyway i hope uh, that you guys are doing well if you have any questions let's start with the hashtag asana series i would love to do that because i no longer want to depend on the camera it's totally fine if the quality is not that great i hope you guys are okay with this quality because i can definitely film a lot more here on my phone than on this camera because the space is very much less and i think uh, the battery also dies very quickly and i don't want to feel restricted just because of the camera problem okay so i can shoot on my phone a lot of you when i did shoot on my phone it say it's okay the quality is fine so i'm going to you know shoot on this phone as well uh, you know the chit chat sessions i'm not talking about the formal like hall videos because i don't think you'll be able to see very clearly though i could be wrong cameras these days are amazing if you're thinking about starting a channel don't feel restricted at all because just because you don't have a camera because sometimes i feel the phone cameras are better than these kind of cameras you know these are like so expensive you spend so much of money on their sd card you spend so much of money on their uh, battery and charging it and stuff and eventually you depend on your phone like the way i am doing and it does a good job i think so yeah of course camera yeah maybe i think if you're starting out with a channel i think your tools should not be a reason as to why you shouldn't start i mean i started if you go ahead and watch my previous videos you'll be shocked because the quality was so bad but that did not stop me you know i kept on making videos every single day and i just want to thank you guys i'm still very passionate about youtube but you know sometimes you know when you work with sponsors and i'm going to be very honest here the deadlines and sometimes they will also give you a script like a uh, script in a sense Uh, that you don't have to lie about product but they want things in a certain format so those kind of things i think is slightly restricting when it comes to the creative and the organic way in which a youtuber would want to make the video so that is also one reason as to why you know i don't like making videos that often i mean i like organic videos i can sit and chat and talk to you guys and have fun but those are also important because the ad revenue has gone really really down so i am actually not earning anything i'm earning but not so much from uh, the ad revenues that i get but uh, because you have to survive and i am also paying the emi of my house i definitely have to kind of uh, depend on some sponsored content and um, for that you know sometimes it is slightly you know they'll give you a script and uh, uh they 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 want the video to be shot in a particular way that takes away the creative uh, feel and the organic feel and stuff and i know a lot of you also feel the same but um please understand everything everything that i do sponsored non sponsored comes from the heart so i'm so thankful to you guys yes i've got so many negative comments also but i'm thankful to each one of you that you've accepted it understood it and you know that any review that i give is not going to be a lie at all on my channel you will not believe the number of uh, uh, sponsored sponsors i have turned down just because i did not uh, kind of my my working ethics did not match with theirs and there were some really huge brands i mean i could take their name but i don't think i will and uh, those are really like 
in the league of Maybelline, L'Oreal and those kind of brands, you know, I'm not saying Maybelline, L'Oreal, but in that league only. So, um, uh, it, it happens like that. Honestly, as Sejal Kumar, she said that she takes her YouTube as a business. It has been very difficult for me to do like that. A lot of people also come and say, oh, why don't you hire? I get so many resumes on an everyday basis. Can you please hire me as a manager or something? But, you know, I never took this as a job. So, you know, considering that aspect is slightly difficult because um, I always thought that YouTube is my passion. When I started, I never knew that YouTube pays. I always thought, why do actually people make videos on YouTube? It was only, I think, six months after I started my channel, I realized, oh, so YouTube actually pays. Uh, and you get sponsors and all of that so it and it's actually a job it's a job it's a proper job in the west and it is just growing here in india and in the eastern part so so that's all about youtube i think i've spoken and rambled on enough i'm not going to take a lot of time and uh, i'll come back to you guys once again if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below in these kind of phone chit chat sessions i can take up your question and i can definitely answer you there uh, because i think um, this way um, if if people have repetitive questions, just making a video would be kind of sufficient to address, you know, a lot of people having the same question. So if you have any questions, you can definitely put in the comment section below. I will definitely get back to you. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And also, you know, just put in the comment section below any question that you have. And I promise I'm going to do a video on it. Or, or if one line answer will suffice your question, then I'm going to write to you or reply to you of course so thank you so much once again i'll see you in my next video very soon i love you all so much bye guys